Colonel Sharp. Mr. Harper, you honor our table. Thank you, Major. Now, if I may, uh, the Reverend Watkin, Ensign Beauclair, you know, my wife, of course, Miss Bonnet. And I are already acquainted. Oh, of course. <clears throat> well, we wait only upon... Oh, there he is. Good evening, Subada. My apologies, Major. I will sit in upon some... Oh! <gasps> Take cover! <laughs> Chetu's men. Life is now. the bill, Mr. Buckler. Her Highness and the commonality are all accounted for, sir. Of company troops, four are numbered dead, including the surgeon. Six are wounded, of which two, including Subhidar Pillai, are like to die. And your own section? Not a man come to harm, sir. But Colour Wormwood confides they gave good account of themselves. Though I confess, with all that befell, I'm hard pressed to order events. The fire and the fighting, the horses and all. Your first action? Yes, sir. You did well. I would hope so, sir. I was, you see, born to a soldier. Indeed. Perhaps you met him. You will have heard of him almost certainly. He was the man brevetted major at Victoria for capturing Marshal Jordan's baton. I don't believe I know him. You'd have taken to him, sir. Well, he was very brave, much admired by his men. It was, Mr. Beclair. He fell, sir, at Roncevals when I was a boy. There was I thinking it was you and me that came across the marshal's baton at Victoria, abandoned in the baggage train along with King Joe's Royal Jake's pot. Yeah. Have your memories off, Pat. Common effect of advancing years, I understand. 